Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. <laughs> You said it, it's you and me. <laughs> it was you and me. What, uh, what happened to me? I, and we were both, this, 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 we were both singing in this spot. And furthermore, uh, I don't want to tell tales, but that, that was, that was up tempo, and you were, you were singing down tempo. Why didn't you, why didn't you follow me? Because I wanted to do it right. <laughs> Okay, it's one of those nights, huh? All right, Cher. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you one thing. Leaders lead, yeah. but followers merely follow. So let he who ignores the baser, baser. <laughs> a little tongue-tied there. I didn't mean to spit in your eye. <laughs> I'm used to it, I'm used to it. Spin it. Wait a minute, now, let, let he who ignores the baser truth stumble in the darkness. That's it. What are you talking about? It's, it's really simple. It's as simple as one and one makes two. I'll tell you something. Uh, you know, all the complex problems of the world can be solved today by deductive reasoning. You know, that's about the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Thank you. Deductive reasoning? No, one and one makes two. No, don't, 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 don't go along with it. You, 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 wouldn't have, you, you wouldn't say that if you had the slightest idea of what I was talking about, Cher. Neither would you. Because you're dumb. I know this is probably over your head, but I'll, 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 I'll explain it to you. All right. Finger to finger. In words of one syllable. That won't be hard for you. No, you know what I've been doing? I've been reading, uh, I've been reading up on philosophy. In fact, uh, 
uh, right now I consider myself somewhat of an expert. For example, uh, this problem. No, really, I, I've been reading. Uh, no, really. No, you're not taking me serious, and I am. That's the point. No, I, I feel uh, like I'm very knowledgeable about the, something you might, might not be aware of. A being, being, the, the thing of being. How do, how do I know I exist? Well, the smell of beer and wine must be coming. <laughs> Be, before I was so rudely interrupted, what, I, what I'm, I'm talking about non-tangible things. I'm talking about notions, thoughts, and ideas, like, like the wisdom of Aristotle. What, do you think you're living with a dummy, huh? You think you're I never said this was living. <laughs> dummy. You may joke, but I want to tell you something. I take my, my, my logical mind serious. It's very, this little Italian mind that you're looking at right now, the little Goomba's mind that you're looking at right now, yeah? Yeah. I'm looking at your nose. You got a mind behind that nose? I cut her up like this every show. Every show. No, right now I know something you don't know. This mind, through some very, very interesting things, I know that this show is going to be a big hit. I know that. Already. How does your little Italian mind know that? The syllogism. The who? <laughs> Syllogism? There's no mind behind that nose. Bunch of spaghetti, but no mind. No, the syllogism. In case you don't know what... I think you got it right yet, son. I wish you guys would tell me what I have to say before. I... Anyway. Whatever the word is. Whatever that word is, you probably don't know what it means. And I do. That's the whole point. Right. I, know, I know what that word means. And that's what important. That's what it's... That's what, what is it? <laughs> Mush mouth. What is it? <laughs> Mr. Professional. <laughs> It's the basic, no, it is, it's the basic technique of logic. That's what it is. That's, you, you want to hear it? Syllogism? Do you want to hear it or not? I don't want Sounds like a snow sport. Do you want to hear it? No, no, I don't want to hear your syllogism or your syllogism. Good. I'll explain to you anyway. All right. Theses. Good shows become mid-season replacements. All right? Right. Mid-season replacements become good shows, right? Right. Okay. The Sonny and Cher show is a good show. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> the conclusion of this thesis is the Sonny and Cher show will be a mid-season replacement. What kind of logic is that? That's the same kind, this logic is the same kind of logic that thinkers and scientists and all great minds have used throughout centuries and centuries of times. They've used it for years and years. The Nielsen ratings. One for the little old Goomba. <laughs> so you're an expert on philosophy, huh? Uh, that's right. That's right. Well, to begin with, uh, your thesis was erroneous. I mean, in other words, I mean, the status of the related propositions are false. The disjunction proposition asserts that one or other of its members must be true. Ergo, we simply assert that if need be either, or in this necessity, it is implicit, it may be neither. Do you, do you understand that, Aristotle? I mean, let me put it to you this way. Your logic is zap. Nil, zero, Italian. You know what I mean? <laughs> Little Goomba, have you got it? What's wrong with it? Well, wait a minute. I mean, you, it's, it's rotten. But there's another very basic reason why your logic is bad. A basic reason why your logic is bad. No, there isn't. Yes, there no, is. No, there isn't. There is. No, there isn't. Yes. None. Yes. 
You know how stupid you think I am? <laughs> yeah, I know how stupid I think you are. <laughs> no, I said that wrong. But... You know how stupid you think I think you are? Yeah. Well, double it. 